Uber, in many ways for me, has felt like a once-in-a-lifetime generation company for a variety of reasons. It was very much of like, how do you grow? How do you grow quickly? Like the good thing here was you had a high amount of autonomy, high amount of freedom. There was a culture internally, which was about of how do I get stuff done? One of our yeah. views used to be is like, if someone came up with an idea, oftentimes you look for all the reasons why it won't work. And you say, oh, no, it won't work for this reason, won't work for that. The culture actually pushed you to think about this. And I was like, no, you can't say no to this. You have to come up with how can you make it work? Actually, a large part of this stems from Travis, who had this notion of like always be hustling. And I think parts of this is for him, his own pre-IPO or his startup journey that he'd gone through. And so I really absolutely loved it because it forced you. And again, as an engineer, that's the fun part because you want to solve problems and yeah. you want to think about how can you make them and solve them more creatively. And I definitely saw that at Uber, like the speed, the execution and how the company